Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video update. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to these videos where we go into some of the work that I've managed to do this week. Before we get into that work, as always, I want to give a big sh shout out and a big thank you to all of the people that pay for my work time. Um, essentially, this isn't a hobby or an extra. This is actually my work time. And um, if it wasn't for the um, generous sponsors, sponsors um, I, I'd have to do other work. Um, so thank you all so much for your dedication and your trust in me to be able to uh, work on Inkscape for you. Um, so let's get into what we've been up to this week. Uh, first of all, there's been a whole bunch of fixes for the uh, Shape Build Builder tool. Uh, first of all, the Shape Builder um, colors were definitely wrong when you had a dark ba background. Um, what I did was I made it more dynamic so that when you had a dark background, the Shape Builder shapes were instead of being black, were then white. And yes, you see it. There's a nice little uh, demonstration that I've put up on the screen. Uh, also, some fi fixes in the Shape Builder tool. I, I merged in um, the feature that's essentially when you have a single line that's not a whole shape, a completed shape, um, those will now bisect. Um, it's not as great or, or as complete as the Illustrator Shape Builder bisections, but the, shape, the, the bisections are, I think, more useful because um, it'll allow you to essentially cut through a shape and then be able to use that in the Shape build Builder tool. Uh, that's actually a feature which I'm happy to have merge in as it stands because it is still better than what we had before. Um, I did actually do a fix in the PDF uh, Cairo importer. Cairo importer was stuck um, only, in, uh, only um, being able to import the first page. Uh, this is to do with some of the other improvements that we've made to the importers that allow you to select which pages you want to import. But the Cairo importer is always uh, limited to importing just one page at a time. Um, but I messed something up and I needed to go back and fix it. Um, I merged in the moving two items from a different layer. Uh, that's just an XML fix. Um, and, and most of my time actually was spent continuing doing the, the PDF work. Uh, mostly this is to do with gradients and, um, the difficulties are is that like, I want the PDF importer to be better than what it was before. I don't want it to just, uh, massage the code and end up with yes, better code, but like user, the user experience actually isn't any different. Um, and part of that is interpreting what's in the, the PDF. So a great example of that is that if you have a stroke and a fill, both have different gradients, that should end up with a single object in Inkscape. Uh, but in the PDF, they they are they are actually two objects, um, and this is why you have to interpret what's in the P PDF instead of just reading it in. It's not just a clean read. Um, this type of conversion actually happens in all sorts of pro programs, um, but because PDFs are meant for print printing. Um, it just means that there's a whole lot of clever things that I need to think about how to um, see what is in the PDF file and what is reasonable to assume that, that will result in, in the SVG. Um, otherwise, you'll end up with an SVG that's just like full of 100 objects from a very simple PDF file. Um, but that's about it from me. Let's have a look at some of the features and fixes from other Inkscape users from the wider Inkscape pro pro project. Um, First of all, I want to give a big shout out to Khabir, who's been dealing with a lot of uh, bug fi fixes. I know he's gone away on vacation, um, but I really like his work. Sped up the Sim Simpson symbols di dialogue and produced a whole bunch of fi fixes for the live path, path effects again. Um, MyCob has been also fi fixing a bun bunch of things, especially in the undo system. PBS has been fixing some of the issues that have cropped up since from his previous work in the year to, to uh, try and do multi-threading and various other things. Uh, recently, his, his fix has been to do with dynamic casting. Um, and Nathan Lee actually did a fix for the export di dialogue when it's accidentally sw switching modes. Um, and I know uh, Mark has been dealing with some compiling and uh, CI builder problems. 
um, some excellent work all, all round. Um, so that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me for another update video. Um, this coming week, I'm going to be focusing, continuing on PDF work. Um, I will, the, I'm considering this to be a slow pro process, but I still do want to do some bug fi fixes. So if you have some crashes or some other like smaller fi fixes, you think I can, I can build in, uh, it'd be nice to do some of this other work at the same time. Uh, let me know in the comments or by email or in the Patreon and, um, Thank, thank you all for watching.